to DIY Builds in Texas, or Boom Boxes in Texas, I should say. My name is Phil, your host. we got Duke back here. He's hanging out with us. And I was going to try to do a video on insulation this week, but I ran into a problem. And let me tell you what's going on. What I'm going to talk about today is sometimes you just have to take a project and just totally rework it as you get better as your skills progress. And if you watch my first video, this is my, or my second video, I think it is. As some of you know, this is my toolbox, boom box that I built. This was my first project. And I'm looking at this thing, and it's got a lot of wires in it, because back then I was just really wasn't sure what I was doing. Again, this was my first project almost a year ago. I've learned so much since then. And I really built this thing too complicated. I was trying to use all these manual switches you see here to switch between different functions and the voltage gauge here and things like that and right now I have a problem for some reason because I have an external power supply the power supply will not power the radio there's a, a something is missing somewhere it'll run off the batteries but I don't want it to run off the batteries I built this run off the power supply the batteries are just here to hold the memory or an emergency situation so, that being said, I'm looking at all these wires that you can see in here. And this thing is really a mess. Because I, back then I really didn't have a method to how I do my wiring. Now I have a color-coded system I use on my wiring and everything. And I'm to the point now where I'm looking at this and I just don't know where the problem could be. It just, it's such a spaghetti in here that... I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to just rip all this out, completely start over, completely wire this thing. But I'm going to wire it differently. And I'm going to wire it much more simple than I have it wired right now. Unfortunately, I have to leave all these holes in here, these switches. But these switches are just going to be dummy switches because they're, they're not working right now like they should. And everything, and something's loose somewhere. So... That's what's uh, going to happen right now. So just want to tell you guys that, you know, especially if you're first starting out, um, your first project is not going to look as good as your last project. Um, you're going to learn as you go along. You're going to try different techniques. And one, th and one thing I learned is how to color code everything, make everything look a certain way. And um, I'm going to have to redo that here because right now there's just so many wires in this box and they're so jumbled together. Everything's kind of wired kind of crazy that I don't know where to start. It's easier to just rip it all out and start all over. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, I've got an update on some other projects that I'm working on. I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute. But I just want to tell you that um, as, as you guys get better and progress in your builds, you're going to learn certain things. And you're going to learn from your mistakes. And what you may have to do is you may want to go back to some of your older projects and update those projects. Just like I'm going to update this box. Now, in a perfect world, what I'd like to do is get rid of the external power supply. And I would love to install an internal power supply. But that's later on down the road. My budget allows right now. I mean, I have a perfectly good power supply. It works fine. I'm just going to stay with that. This radio strictly is to sit next to my bed so it works fine with this one now. The Mega Boom Box that you guys heard me talk about is going to have an internal power supply and batteries with a switching relay which I'm probably going to talk about next weekend, my next video. Oh pardon me, it's congestion here. So uh, like I said, just want to tell you guys don't get frustrated if something doesn't work out the first time Take a step back, look at it, take your time, make sure you have a good multimeter, and just go in here and run some tests. And that's what I'm doing right now, just running some tests, seeing what might be disconnected or loose, and see if we can't fix it. So let me uh, take a break from this for a minute, and I'll give you guys an update on uh, something new I'm working on and something to look forward to the future. So I'll be Okay, right. ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. As you can see here, I have a metal ammunition 50 caliber box I got this from the army surplus store that I went to today this thing is definitely used and definitely beat up 
and it's uh, it's seen better days here. It's got scratches and everything. I love the, the ink right here on the front. And what I would like to do is go ahead and make an ammo box out of this. Uh, I'm going to be moving, not moving from, but I, as a, I'll, I do the plastic ammunition boxes, as you guys all know. And I'm going to be expanding my product line to the metal ammunition boxes. So this is what I had in mind right here. Now, I want to save all this, this stamp right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install the speakers here on the back. I'm going to install the radio and the switches and the voltmeter and everything right here on this side. And um, I think it's going to look really good. And that's going to be coming up probably about three or four weeks. Uh, we've got the Mega Boom Box right now that we're working on, or about to start on next week. And I'm going to be giving you guys some updates on that. And I think also what I'm going to do with this one, I did get a request of doing a step-by-step -step wiring of how do, you, how do you wire one of these um, boom boxes up. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that step-by-step. -step. Uh, probably going to do a long video if I can get away with it. So anyway, that's what's going on, guys. I know it's not a real long video today. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing some more videos in the future about different things. Just today, uh, with the radio acting up, everything just kind of threw me for a loop. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my video if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you guys very much. I have 180 subscribers, which I think is fantastic. And I thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. And right here at the bottom of the screen, you can see it says, I love all things radio. That's my Facebook page. If you want to ask me a question, that's the best place you can reach me is there. And I would love to talk with you and help you with anything you have. And if you'd like me to build you one of these ammunition boxes, boom boxes, please let me know. I have some very happy customers out there. My boom boxes are now in six states. And all my customers are very, very happy. So thank you guys so much for your business. Thank you for supporting me, and can't wait to talk to you guys again. So be on the lookout for my next video. I should put a new video every week, and we will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.